have another dragon to be made for you. Sandra has done the preparation while we were in the gallery with Thomas. But let's take a peek at the uh, Dichroic Sea Dragon that was made earlier. For those of you guys who missed it when Sandra took it outside in the sun, we'll do it again after we close the live event out so you guys can see how it really, really sparkles. Yeah. I think it turned out beautifully. Yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. It turned out nice. So, as Sandra just mentioned, she'll be making a double-headed dragon, um, which is, which you guys can find on the website. Our double-headed dragons are standing. Yes, and yeah, it doesn't work to hang them because um, of the head. That one head goes to the back, and it would be in the way with a fishing line or anything to hang the piece. So these are only standing pieces. Yep. And she's using our beautiful multicolored glass today. I do. But I actually want to use it not for the body this time, but for the wings just on the outside. Oh, nice. I want to do this color as a base color, and then I just uh, just decided that spontaneously. I think that's gonna look great. Yeah. It will be. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying with us today on our event. Hope you guys are well. For those of you who are just tuning in, you can also watch our demos on our YouTube channel. Please go there and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can stay updated on what we'll be doing next. And you also can find our creations on our website, which is wgkglass.com. Interesting piece. It's not that old yet. Mm -hmm. So, as usual, Sandra starts with the body, and the body okay. is going to be in a teal color. Would you call that a teal? I think so. It's not really it, it's more in a bluish uh, direction, but I think it's, it's, you can consider that teal. Okay. There are two such colors that we have in use. I think that's the more greenish one that I've chosen. So the body will be teal and the wings will be in also, the multicolored yeah, glass. Also the tips and um, the claws. And the head, everything that I attach on the head is also going to have the moody color. This is kind of an interesting color, the moody color, but you will see that later. Every time I heat it up, it develops a different color. Um, so when you heat it up first, it usually goes like a greenish, yellowish color. Okay. When you heat it up the second time, or it gets a wave of, of some heat, it goes more in the bluish direction. Mm. And when you give it a, a little bit more heat, or you heat up this a third time, then it's going to the, the purplish direction. So it's, oh, wow. It's kind of interesting. So it changes yeah. quite a bit depending on the amount of heat that it encounters. On the amount of heat and how much you heat it up, how, how often you heat it up. So I guess today was a dragon day for us and for you guys. And the devil day. Yeah. <laughs> we like to show you our variety. Hope you guys are enjoying watching. Yeah, the devils are nice, nice as well. Really nice pieces. The devils are beautiful. Hope you guys, mm -hmm. you guys enjoyed the interview with John also. As Thomas mentioned, we had quite some de technical difficulties. So we weren't able to bring him onto the camera as we would have wished, but it happens, yeah. And you guys were able to see him through a video call, which is great. You guys got to understand him a little more and see what his inspirations um, are from and are still from and what he plans to do in the future. Hello, Susan and Herb. Herb, 
sorry, <laughs> and Keith and Bonnie. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. Yes, Brigitte, the interview with John was very interesting and his pieces are amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we wanted him online because he really is an interesting person. Mm -hmm. He's an, an, an amazing artist, I think. Yeah, and as, yeah. as Thomas shared with you in, in so many different forms, John dances and what we didn't mention is that John can cook. Yeah. He's quite a he chef. He, he's quite a chef. Yeah. Yeah. He can. So as you can see, Sandra has started with the body and the tail. I think he can still recommend the dandelion salad that he makes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was interesting after all. Mm -hmm. That day when he made that salad the first time and he went outside with a big bowl. And sang his and way through the yard. Just, <laughs> yeah, just went through the yard and digging up the dandelions for the salad. Yeah. Just the right ones. So these are the spikes that are on the tail. Yeah. Those are the spikes. It's gonna be a real, really nice contrast with the multicolored glass because the multicolored glass has a lot of purple and blue and green hues in it. So it, if you guys can see that very well. And it changes, you never know how it's going to turn out. When you pull it. Am I saying that properly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now it's more that greenish, bluish color that I talked about when you heat it up the first time. But you will see the different um, color variations later on. And we have added more. front of the, the, the dragon, those kind of the muscles on yep, there. the abdomen of the abdomen, dragon. Yeah. The structure on there. And then we have to start with the hind legs. So as Sandra stated, these are the hind legs that she's putting on. Mm -hmm. It's more so that she's working from back to front. Always, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really just the the legs itself that I'm putting on right now. It, it's of course it's gonna get some feet and some claws later on, but right now it's just that uh, the main body is hot, so you wanna get keep going on, uh, before it cools down, and you can attach later on. 
everything that need to, needs to go on. So that's the work, not just from the, from the back to the front, but also from the inside to the outside. Okay. So you, want, you do the main parts first and then the details are exactly. last? Yeah. Get closer to the camera. It doesn't look that interesting yet, but it's, it's getting there. As I said, it's just that it's attached and we get the details later. work for the, for the wings, so I'm attaching a small tip there, and then I can attach the wings itself on that tip later on. For now, it's just getting off the body. work for the other wing. And now I need to attach the, the heads and the necks. The one to the back first. Adding a bit of claws at the end for the head already. This is just to give me some direction where I'm heading with the fore neck. It looks okay, I think.
for three more tips in there. Uh, now it has two heads. Well, next the heads take a little longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has two next. So and I'm quite happy now because that is the moment, the tricky moment to really get everything on before it falls apart. This is the time when you have to be fast. And then you have to heat up where you want to attach. So the next thing I'm attaching on that one is really the rest of the wings because right now it's just these stops on there. Okay. So I will reheat one of the sides, each side, a different time. So it's going to take So you're going to heat one here. side at a time? It's just, yeah. It's just that I'm, I have to, I'm considering adding the wing in this field here so I have to heat up almost to the body again okay because that has cooled down while we were working on the next so and it cools down up. pretty quickly it cools down pretty quickly it, it's not cold really that you could touch it or anything it's just that it's that cold that if you go in in the flame right now it might fall off or it might crack or it, the wing doesn't stick on there or it's mm -hmm. just it's just falling apart so you have to, this is a lot from, from that moment on the whole piece is a lot of preheating and reheating and I mean, it looks a bit boring, but you have to do it. You want to have a successful piece in the end. So right. It's part of the process. It's part of the process. And it, it always, it, I always sit there and dream <laughs> in the flame and think like, whoa, time is passing. <laughs> no, no. It's just that you watch the flame and look at it and um, make sure that it gets hot. So you, you have a feeling from looking at it, you have a feeling how hot it is and if it needs more time or if it's if it's done or if it's ready. That comes with experience. So it it's, comes with experience. It's like cooking. You know, a lot of people yeah. ask, not me because I don't cook, they don't ask me, but they ask people who can cook very well. Well, what do you? What are your ingredients like? What do you add in? Like, well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, like, it just so, comes with yeah. experience. You yeah. just know what to do. Yeah. So right now you can't see much really because I'm working kind of over here. I try not to hit that head over there. So I, I have see. to work a bit on the edge of the flame. Let's see what we can get in and take a peek. Can you guys see that very well? Mm. We're in the flame with the dragon. <laughs> on the edge. On the edge of the flame. It's just on the edge of the flame. It gets easier when, when you go to the, the, the outer tips for the wings, what do you call the tips, right? Mm -hmm. On. It's a beautiful contrast. Mm -hmm. It is, and now you also see how it looks with that purple. That there is a purple in there. Mm -hmm. It's it's developing very it's nicely. Through. It's coming through. So.
So now she's heating wing. up the other wing. Now, the now she's daydream again. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. Samantha said, that is beautiful. How are you? Long time no hear from. Hope all is well where you are. So is the head in the flame a little? Maybe the neck, I think. But it it it's, it, it it's not hurting the head or the neck. It, the, the blue flame would do it. Okay. Uh, the 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 light one doesn't doesn't hurt. And what what's the difference? Why doesn't it? Because it's it's so it's, uh, intense. It's less it's less in heat. It's it's just less. That's actually the same kind of flame that I have on my preheat. It's just a gas flame, and um, you. You just use it to heat up whatever you want to heat up in a, in, a, in a real hot flame then in the end. So it has less of a temperature and it just gives it the right amount of smooth heat. Okay. In there. You, you would think the cool. blue the blue flame was less heat. No. no wow. No. It's much more. Much better. Hi, Calvin. Calvin said it looks awesome. Hope all is well with you and your family. I saw your daughter on your, well, of course, there on your profile picture. She's getting big. <laughs> it's not just the velour stuff that is glowing. Yeah. How can you? He's right. It's the oxygen that makes it blue. Ah. Turning on oxygen, it all goes blue. And it's really nice and hot. Calvin says his daughter's growing too fast. Tell me about it. My daughter's 18. Getting ready to leave me. <laughs> but it's all good. Just you and you enjoy every stage of, of their life in your life. So now she's on the other wing. And when I do the wings, it's really more I mean, I know in kind of in what direction I want to pull, but definitely you always check with each spike that you do on there. You always check how it looks from the front, even if, if it's from the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you kind of see if you go in the right direction or if you want to move more to that side or to that side, which whichever. It needs to go in. There you are. Second thing. It's a bit too long. I checked with the other side. And that was a bit shorter. Okay, so this is on. This is how it looks from the front. Nice. Next step to do is the head on the that goes to the back. Okay. Because that's well, the the easier head is the one to the front. I hate the one to the back, but it looks cool. It does. <laughs> so the one to the back is harder because of the wings. No, because you have to work towards you, and you usually walk, uh, work away from you. Because also the, the flame goes away from you, so it's much harder to work towards it. And you have quite a limited space. You have to make sure you don't get on that wing, on that wing, on the other head. Mm -hmm. So you kind of wiggle yourself around it. You would see when I start working on it that sometimes you have to bend your arms like <laughs> to get on the right spot. But, yeah. You have to become flexible. 
yeah. It's always interesting how you can bend. <laughs> Time to read up again. So as Sandra just stated, she's going to work on the details of one head first and the next head afterwards. Yeah. She starts with the head that's facing towards the back of the dragon's body because it's a little harder to get those details done because of the direction that she has to work in. Exactly. I'm, and I'm happy that right now there is not so much going on on the other head yet mm -hmm. because that would additionally increase the amount the, the, or decrease the, the amount of space that you have left right because you'll have really those horns on, on there and everything exactly that's it and I always heat up a bit more on the on the neck as well even though I'm on, I'm start work, I start working here, but you want to make sure that it's hot up to here. Okay. So mid neck, you want it to be heated yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It needs the, um, the 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 warmth in there too. Hello, Marcia. Thank you for joining us. Um, Sandra has done. This is her second demonstration for the day. The first one was a dichroic sea dragon. You'll be able to watch this video later. Um, the second one that she's working on now is a double-headed dragon. So right now she's working on the details of the of the head that's going towards the back of the body. Oh, she's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move too much, just wait it out. Now comes the tricky part. See, this is what I meant. You have to get in there and still hold it somehow. It's kind of like a left-hander writing with their right hand or a right-hander writing with their left hand. I don't know, whatever it is, but it, 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 that's one of the trickiest things that I... Yeah, because you're used to going in a certain direction. Yeah, where you have to go under the flame. The whole hand is under the flame. Mm. <laughs> You definitely don't want to drop anything at that point. That's not the position up there. Okay, it's on. Now here comes the eyes. Just the white first, and then I have to pull it to both sides. Now it gets easier. It's on top of the head. And here comes the horns. No, not yet. No? It's just the, the top of the head. First. Okay. Yeah. Because at that point, I need, still need to squish that head down. So it gets that typical dragonish pose and look.
most on me, that back then. That on there. The nostrils. Mm -hmm. One head. And it's gonna stand like this in the end. So okay. Let's do the other head. Preheat first. Mm-hmm. Preheat and dream. Preheat, Preheat and dream. And dream. <laughs> Hi Tracy. Thank you for joining us. Tracy, this is Sandra's second dragon demonstration for the day. Um, after this video is posted, you'll be able to go back and watch it later. You'll be able to see the first dragon, which was a sea dragon with dichroic glass. And if you guys are interested in watching more of our demonstrations, please go to our YouTube channel, which is WGK Glass Art. And there you can subscribe. And there you'll also be able to see future demonstrations. You're welcome, Tracy. before I always as I said before I always heat up part of the neck as well to make sure when I work on here that it, it, it's not cracking anything it stays with me so it's really from knowing how to work with that kind of glass that you know how to heat up and how long to heat up right yeah it's quite some time usually, so that's why I said that you're sitting around holding that thing in the flame, looking at it like it's an interesting TV show. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the process. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mark Star. Hope all is well with you. And hello, Mark Martin. Mark, I know you're missing the shows just as much as we are <laughs> and being able to connect with your customers. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy said that's beautiful. Thank you. And of course, you guys will be able to find this online later. Put some eyes on. Let's get his vision done. Mm -hmm. Well, the other head needs to see as well. So you're also an optometrist, huh? 
<laughs> the multi-talented Sandra. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of you guys who are mothers. It's not as delicate as it as it looks. Sandra uses quite a, a good amount of glass that makes it pretty sturdy. And after mm -hmm. it's made, it goes in the kiln to be annealed so that the glass is hardened. Yeah, you can show them the kiln if you want to. Well, thanks for joining us, Mark. Yeah, I'll show you guys the kiln where everything goes after it is made. So this is like an oven where we put the glass and it heats up to how much? What's the degrees? 950, 950 degrees. It heats up to where it anneals the glass, which means that it hardens it and takes some of the stress out to make it not so delicate. Of course, glass is delicate, but ours is pretty sturdy. Right at that moment is the time to really make sure that it, when it's standing in the end, that it looks nice. So that's why I want to have that piece off the hook. And um, the wings have cooled down as much as I can, so I can hold it on the wings. I wouldn't try the heads yet, but the wings are okay. So next step is to start with the front feet so I'm attaching a little bit of that teal color and then I do the claws with the multicolor so they stand out in the end so what I'm doing right now is really heat up one of the stops where the, the foot is going to come so again we're heating up something up we're daydreaming <laughs> and I hope I'm hoping to have the, the hands on the claws to look in that direction. So that's what you always do when you when you imagine something um, 
like cloth or anything, you can really try to envision your own hand and you can make that gesture. It looks crazy when you do it, but it works. It helps you really imagine what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You could also have a Thomas for that. <laughs> that works as well. And that's a second close. It kind of has that. Mm -hmm. Like it's getting ready to strike. Yeah. It wants something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like with, with the dragons, it's like when you when you're sitting here and you roar with them, I think they are getting better. Exactly. It's like with the, when 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 you have like with this small pigs did I ever tell you with the small how I started with the small flying pigs mm -mm. um it was weird because I had printed out uh three photos of a flying pig um one was a I think it was no it was one of this such a weather thing flag thing okay that you can have on top of your house yeah yeah, yeah I know what you're saying um, and two were such signs for restaurants um, so when I tried the two, two first that I liked the most, um, but it didn't, it, it just didn't look. And then I tried the one that I really didn't like at all, and that one showed. Mm. So I, I still don't know why, but in the end, what I, what I did always when I started working then, I envisioned them flying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I always said, wee! <laughs> and that made them look so cute it, I can't it's, it's I get craziness. it it's craziness it's craziness but that's what you do but you're bringing it to life yeah <laughs> a little bit weird somehow hey I think that's that's being part of the artist artist <laughs> exactly it's part of being an artist I totally agree yeah, you're being silly and a bit crazy you're being part of your creation yeah you have to mm-hmm the other hand.
Tracy says these are all her favorite colors. That is good. You tuned in at the right time, Tracy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she came in the right moment. Cool. Mm-hmm. Now the hind always, feet. Yeah. I, oh, no, when, I, when I do the feet, I always do them a bit bigger than the hands. I think, number one, it fits really that it has bigger feet with the hind feet mm -hmm. than hands. But um, I also think it's better to for standing the pieces. It's not that wiggly. It balances it better yeah. because it's carrying so much weight. Yeah. Well, we want to make sure it doesn't topple over mm -hmm. as easy. So we want to make sure it's really standing where it's standing. This is the middle toe. That's the longest one. And then the other one can be shorter. And then I have to set it up to see what, what I'm working on. That's the claws as well. It's not perfect yet. Not perfect yet. Yep, that is much better. Much better. Well, there is no foot on there, the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sandra and Teresa. Thank you guys for joining us. Although you're almost at the end of our live, you can definitely go back once it's posted and watch it from the beginning. We had an interview with John Zenner today, who is the creator of the aliens, dancers, and devils. And you'll also get to see the dragons that Sandra demonstrated today. And if you like our videos, you like watching us, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us reach a thousand followers. Yeah, that's our first goal. Yeah. At least. Our YouTube channel is WGK Glass Art. And of course, our website is WGKGlass.com. We thank you guys for tuning in with us. Teresa says, fantastic. Thank you. Hope you guys' Mother's Day is going well.
this one far. standing already. Well, you still need to end the tail. That was where the, the handle was sitting, but it's getting that nice twisty tip on there. It looks great. Yeah, color's nice. like it. Colors go great together, yeah. at some point we should do uh, one of the, the long ones mm -hmm. and then we can can explain to people how we how we develop the long way in the snowstorm <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah gotta say that story when i had to dig to the company i think that's a good story as well yes <laughs> see see why you guys need to subscribe to our youtube channel and and follow us we have endless stories of how we things were created in our experiences here in the studio. <laughs> we'll be your glass soap opera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Aaron says he absolutely loved his. That color combo is awesome. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, it's done. Yeah, there you have it. There you have it. So we thank you guys for joining us again today, this Sunday. Hope your Mother's Day went well. Okay, thank you so much again. And I hope you are coming back next Sunday when we have our next event. And uh, we are thinking um, of something exciting for you. So it stays exciting and interesting every Sunday. Take care and see you next Sunday again. Stay happy. Bye. Bye.